Roger, roger. The commando droids will hunt down any survivors. Very good. The doors to the bridge open and the doctor droid A4D enters. Master, you haven't heard a transmission on channel 5. Why have you not answered it? Not now, Doctor. I'm in the middle of a battle. But the transmission has a top-level priority code. It must be important. Ah, what could be more important than the destruction of a civilization? I can compute there are several possible answers to that question. Silence! Who is sending the transmission? Assage Ventris, my lord. Ventris? Duco's plaything? I don't have any time to waste on her. She is Count Dooku's personal assassin. I would answer a call if I were you. Ah, but you are not me, Doctor. For I am the leader of the most powerful droid army that the galaxy has ever seen. And you are a simple servant droid. Doctor and advisor. I tire of your comical wit. Do not make me regret having you reassembled. Of course not. But if the message Vector relays comes from Count Dooku, it would be wise to hear what she has to say. Very well. Put her through. But if I miss any good destruction while I'm distracted, I'll have your head back on a platter. Yes, my lord. A hologram of Ventress appears before Grievous and the Doctor. Why, General? Thank you for receiving my transmission. Finally. My pleasure, Assassin. Now what can I do for you? I'm rather busy. So I hear. It must be difficult for you to tear yourself away from all your toy soldiers. I don't expect a mere assassin to understand the intricate art of warfare. No, I guess not. That's best left to droids like you. Oh, my. I am no droid! No, that's right. My mistake. It's so hard to remember sometimes. The heart that beats inside my mental body is that of a true warrior. Interesting. Count Dooku seems to consider me his best warrior. And yet, I have no heart at all. <laughs> A fact that is not hard to believe, witch. You flatter me, General. But allow me to get to the point. Please do. Intelligence has reported a large Republic fleet leaving orbit around Coruscant. It seems the planet Doran is finally going to receive reinforcements to counter your attack. A meaningless gesture. The more forces they send here, the better the diversion will work. And there shall be even less forces to raid Geonosis. I agree. Except the general in charge of the reinforcements is Skywalker. And you can bet his brat went along with him. That changes nothing. Perhaps not. But if you fail to detain Skywalker at Doran, Geonosis may be in jeopardy. I will not fail. Why, General, who suggested you would? I look forward to our next encounter. The hologram fades off. Well, that went better than expected. <laughs> we call the troops and prepare the fighters. We must prepare for Skywalker's arrival. Da, da, Hey, let's all change parts now. Yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. Nika, I love your ventures. It's so awesome. Thank you. I tell you, one of the things when when George and I went to bring Ventures to the screen in this way is that George has never really been super involved in that character before. I mean, she was, uh, I think, a German power illustration in, uh, for Attack of the Clones that got abandoned and then it got picked up in the comic books and then Gandhi put her famously in the previous Clone Wars cartoon. Um, in that cartoon, she's great, but she's very much a blunt instrument attacking and attacking. Um, and George and I decided that what Ventures really needed was a bit of I mean, there's a bit of tension there. There's a bit of sexual tension in a way that uh, she's almost flirtatious with the Jedi. She's like the, the apple that they shouldn't bite at, you know, and uh, you play that part so well. It's really great. And now I've brought that into Grievous, and, uh, you know, I love the way that this scene you know, Grievous is very much watching the football game, but I don't get to see today against the Vikings, so... <laughs> I thought it'd be appropriate to write him watching this battle, and he gets distracted from it, so... <laughs> David, welcome back. It's nice to have you alive.
think that the, uh, the doctor droid is such a great counterpoint to Grievous's kind of over masculinity and his way that he's so brawny and battle hardened. And then there's the doctor, and they have this great idea of using Paul Lind as kind of a, a touchstone for that voice. If any of you remember Paul Lind uh, back from Bewitched and uh, whatnot, but it's a, it's a great character. I think I think we need him. We need you, Kate.